itself. And uh, the Atma cannot be defined. Therefore, it, may, and it can only be indicated. So there are two ways of indicating uh, the Atma. The first is that is the when other objects are used to indicate something or more. For example, when someone uh, is taking directions to a place they've never gone to before, usually point out a landmark or something of the sort that is known to the person according to which they can find their destination. Similarly, uh, the vessel actually has a point of indirect indication to uh, the Atma. It is usually used for students who are not, uh, whose mind is not yet prepared uh, it is not yet that and pure, and it is easier to understand. For example, um, the sentence that which expresses through the Vinayaman is Atma, or that which in living body may reflect is Atma is Tatasya Lakshana. The second is Swarup Lakshana. This is a direct pointer to Atma. Qualities like changeless, birthless, deathless are Swarup Lakshana of Atma. Swarup uh, the word death means work as in own and to as in nature. So, Swaru Lakshana is the uh, is Atma's own nature and that is what it is saying. The point of the Swaru Lakshana is all other things so that only Atma remains. Whatever remains without the body, mind, intellect and the world is Atma. Only ignorance and Atma remain, and ignorance is uh, done away with, with the light of knowledge. It is human beings who have created the distinction between uh, creator, creature, and creation. Though they are all only one, it is, it's our, uh, you know, we have done this to wrap our heads around the whole thing. Uh, however, it is all manifesting as one. The changes that are all, all all around us are proof that something does not change, that we witnesses these changes and hence we know that the change is taking place. For example, a movie screen. A movie screen is blank uh, or a movie is playing. The movie screen does not get affected. With whatever kind of uh, that is starting with it, then the movie does not get affected, whether the movie is playing or not. Uh, so, the next token. Satyam, Kalatya, Api, Pitam, Bhutisatyam. One is that which remains unchanged, past, present, and future. Atma is present at all times. Everything else is constantly changing, but the isness factor is <laughs> The table is stable, but there is fair walls. All of these are experienced by something. That is such. It enlivens everything. The Atma enlivens everything, whether it is expressed or not. Humans have been given the such body or the equipment to express it and hence we know or we can express with our Atma. The I am aspect never changes. That is such. It is not possible to explain one's own absence. Um, let's take an example for uh, if we wake up from a very deep slumber and we are absent with the living body. The questions that arise in our mind are who am I or where am I? Never am I. We always know we are. And that is our nature. That is our indestructible nature. And if we come to know, if we realize our own living indestructible nature, we will know. We will have to figure out there. Fear of death usually arises for the two One, that I will cease to exist, and two, that I will lose the things that I have lived in this life. Uh, however, the first fear that is, uh, I will cease to exist, uh, is negative because the Atma lives on, and I will lose everything I have lived in this life, is when we are not there to experience it, and Atma is present in the other way, then how does it matter what? And happen. Self has no birth, no death, no fear, no sorrow can touch the same. However, we see people doing so much in the external world to become immortal. For example, uh, people believe that they can live on through others or through their work or uh, 
who think that they have achieved the white ruling mandate all through project. Often are uh, really something that is considered the animals who might do. Uh, and for same people who get good or bad, uh, or not, same is trying is being is trying to be achieved at whatever cost. So all of this will be negated once we come to know that our nature itself is common and unchanging. Next is chit. If you consciousness is the nature of absolute knowledge. It is that which makes us aware. It can't be alert. Uh, awareness has to be there to know that existence. Chit is what removes the the light of knowledge. We have this equipment that has been us, our cross and our subtle body. But the eyes can see the call of change or the awareness. Life force that and living the eye. We can think, feel, perceive, or it and livens us. Only we have the equipment to express uh, express this uh, to our subtle body. It is the light of consciousness experience that aham or I am. Uh, if we come to know that this is our nature, we are no longer fear death uh, and also that the nature is, is never affected by the human being. For example, the sun burns as the sun shines and the uh, light falls on everything. The absence or the presence of objects and people. However, the sun is never affected by its by the absence or presence of anyone else. Exactly the same thing, Atma is there. It enlivens everything, the presence of feet, of all of it, and remains unaffected by all of it. If we, are, if we were to realize this, we would be free from the effect of stress, anxiety, worry, tension about this, what, I, what am I going to do? Is this going to be okay? All of those anxieties would be done away with if we understood that we are changeless and as the self is what is going to live on. The cross body and the cycle body, all of it is permanent, it is fine. And we will be able to live the animals at all times like Lord Ram. Imagine a life free of disappointments and failures. I think that's what we all try to achieve and that what to happen if we realize our own true nature. Next is Anand. Anand is the nature of absolute happiness. Bliss means absolute of pure happiness which is perfect. There are no boundaries or limitations. I need nothing else to be happy. The self in itself is happiness. The nature of the self is permanent happiness. And the problem is that all of the everyone is trying to look for happiness in the external world. They are trying to look for permanent happiness in the world. The advanced itself portrays the paradox in which we are living in. That is Ananda. And that is the nature of the As soon as one realizes our own nature, we can be free and we do not need anything else enough in ourselves to be happy and to be up to reach our highest potential. The top three desires in the world are the desire for immortality, the desire for knowledge, and the desire for the permanent happiness. And guess what? All three are still going to that. We get caught up in thinking that the the mind or the intellect and running after the period that the that we seek permanent happiness. However, um, immortality, yes, immortality, knowledge and permanent happiness are achievable if we realize our own true nature, which has been shrouded by ignorance. Knowing such frees us from the fear of death, it frees us from the consequences or impacts of uh, we stop getting affected by the opposite that we constantly live in and ignore Anand frees us from dependencies. So imagine your life without the fear of death 
without any, uh, without the effect, but to have happen. And home dependencies. I think that's what we are looking for. But what we haven't realized yet is that we are that. To reach this state, the mind has to be pure, selfless, will positive. And all these qualities can be cultivated in our mind to convey it. Dedicating our services to the higher, to the highest. Uh, if someone is not yet prepared, not ready for karma yoga yet, there is something called Bhattab Sat. This is a Kirechi Sadhana to meet her. So that can be uh, doing things like Upas, Pranayam, which will discipline the body, mind, and intellect to be single, uh, single pointed and so forth. And hence help us. The intellect has to be subtle. It has to uh, pass now meditation and to say to uh, so that our mind becomes pure and love uh, is evoked and uh, the ego is there. So after having done this, after making our mind pure, subtle and single pointed, then uh, we should look. Uh, we should how to, however, what has been extremely possible that without all the we've got a uh, Guru like and I think we all ought to be grateful for that. Uh, that we were told this by our Guru itself. Without being prepared, we were knowledge to know that something like this. Thank you.